सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फोर्थ मॉड्यूल ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग सो इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट ऑर्गेनाइज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग फाइल्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द फॉलोइंग फाइल ऑपरेशन इन पाइथन विद एग्जांपल फर्स्ट वन इज कॉपीइंग फाइल फ्रॉम फोल्डर मूविंग फाइल्स एंड फोल्डर परमानेंटली डिलीटिंग फाइल्स एंड फोल्डर ओके सो लेट्स सी कॉपीइंग फाइल्स एंड फोल्डर्स and for this you will be using subtle module uh, that is copy and copy to function copy copies the file contents copy to co also copies metadata like time spans okay so for copying the file contents will be using copy and copy to will be used to copy the file with time span times times okay so see the example import subtle Settle dot copy sorts file dot txt destination file dot txt. So copying uh, copying folders use settle dot copy tree to copy entire directories and their contents. Okay. So import settle copy the copy and enter folder settle dot copy tree source folder destination folder. So it will copy tree will uh, copy or entire directory into the contents. Okay. So second one is moving files and folders. Use settle dot move to move files. Example import settle settle dot move old location new location. Okay, moving folders settle dot move old folder new location or new folder. Permanently deleting files and folders. Deleting files for deleting files we will use os dot remove. Okay, import os os dot remove file to delete dot txt. Okay, so Deleting folders to remove uh, to delete the folder will be using subtle dot rm tree that is remove tree. So it will remove all the directories. Okay. So os dot rm dir remove directory empty folder. Subtle dot rm tree folders with contents. So it will remove the folders with contents. Okay. So you you can see the summary over here. Okay. So let's move to the second question. List out the differences between the subtle copy and subtle dot copy tree. It's and not and. Subtle dot copy, it will copy a single file from source to destination, whereas subtle dot copy tree will copy the entire directory tree from source to destination. Okay, the parameter will be subtle dot copy source destination and. Here the parameter is source destination and some more parameter also you can give for directories. Okay, what it copy? Subtle dot copy will copy the content and permission bits of a single file. It will copy the sub directories also within a directory. Okay, so subtle dot copy destination requirement is destination can be a file name. For this the destination can be must be a new directory path. Okay, for handling better data, subtle dot copy what it do? copies file data and modify oh sorry copies the file data in mode copy to also metadata okay copy to also copies the meta metadata there is the copy tree will do copies entire directory structure including metadata if using copy to okay so subtle dot copy will return path to the new file subtle dot copy tree will return path to the copied directory okay it will return the copied directory path so example you can see it subtle dot copy file dot txt to backup dot txt subtle dot copy to source directory and this is destination directory okay so subtle dot copy for individual file subtle dot copy to for entire directories so this is the basic difference okay so let's see this third question list out benefits for compressing files also explain reading of a zip file with an example Okay, so these are all the benefits of compressing file. That is reduced storage space. The storage space can be reduced by using the compression. Faster file transfer since it is the smaller files transfer more quickly. So this is also a benefit. Efficient backup. Backup. Uh, it will reduce the file size, facilitate easier and more efficient backups. Organization. Multiple file can be combined into a single compressed archive. Okay. Cost saving, less storage is required for this. Encryption and security compressed all time can be encrypted. Okay. So see the example. Reading a zip file in Python. Import zip file. You have to import this module. 
zip path is equals to example dot zip with zip file dot zip file zip path in read as zip reference. So this is to open the zip file in read mode and uh, file list is equals to zip dot uh, zip ref dot name list. So it, it will it is to list the, all the files in the zip archive. So after this file name is equals to file list zero taking the first file as the example with zip ref open file name as file content file dot read. So this is a code for read the content of a specific file. Okay. So I hope you understood content is equals to file dot read dot decode utf eight that will decode the bytes to the string. Okay. Since the string is stored as a bytes in the memory, so this is to decode that. And now print the contents of the file. Okay. So let's move to the fourth question. Briefly explain assertion and raising an exception. Also explain the function of certain model with an example. Okay. So what is assertion? Assertion is a debugging aid that tests if a condition is true. If the condition is false, the program is in an assertion error and stops. So let's see this example x is equal to 5. Assert if x is greater than 0, x would be positive. Okay. So what it will do? If x is not greater than 0, it raises an assertion that the x would be positive. Okay. So raising an exception is the explicitly it is done using the raise statement. It is used to signal error or unusable conditions. Okay. So see the example. If you are performing division, the denominator should be positive. Okay. So, so yeah, see if B equal to equal to zero, raise zero dividend. The division error cannot divide by zero. Return A divided by B. So if here the B is equal to zero, then it will raise a zero division error that cannot divide by zero. Okay. So what is certain model that offers high level operation for file and directory management such as copying, copying, moving and deleting file and directories as I told you in the first question. Okay. So import certain file, uh, copy file source dot txt to extension dot txt. So copy, certain dot copy will be used here. Okay. See the fifth question. So the file and folder can be copied using certain model. So files, how files is copied, certain dot copy path of the file and path of the destination. So like this, the file can be copied. So the same in the first question also we did. So for directories, we will use copy tree. Okay. So source here, the destination here. Okay. So let's see the sixth question. List out the benefits of logic model. Uh, logging model, sorry. With an example, uh, describe logging uh, level used in Python by, to categorize log messages by importance. Okay. So what is logging model? So it provides a flexible framework for emitting log messages. Okay. So all the log message, messages should be uh, written somewhere. So that is the logging model in Python. This will return that uh, log messages. Okay. So let's see the some of the benefits configure logging levels. So we can actually set the different levels of importance for messages like debug, info, warning, error, and critical. So according to that, Python will handle that. Multiple output option, structured logging, printing, and uh, severability control, and integration with the other system. Okay. So we can also integrate with other log management system or alert tool for real time monitoring. So the example will be import logging, logging dot basic config uh, level is equal to logging dot info file name is equal to app dot log. So it is about the configuration of logging. Okay. So this is about the log message of various security security levels. So logging dot debug for debug this will be printed. This is debug message for info. This will be printed for warning. This will be printed and for error. This will be printed. And for critical, this will be printed. So it's all about the every individual log messages will have this all uh, what alerts. Okay. So in this example, what is happening? The login is configured to capture info and above levels. Messages below the threshold like debug are ignored. Messages are written to the file app.log with security levels. So this is all the messages will be written to the file app.log. Okay. With having some security level levels. So let's see next Python logging levels. So we ha we have some uh, logging levels with increasing order. See debug uh, having the numeric value 10 
that is detailed information for diagnostic issues very fine grain info for 20 and it is general operational information about program flow warning and the numeric value is 30 indication of potential issue and unexpected situations error the numeric value is 40 that is errors that prevent certain function from working properly and the last one is critical that is the numeric value is 50 serious errors indicating program failures or shut down so this is the increasing order so this will be handled first okay so this is most important than this 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 the least important least important one is bigger okay so let's move to the seventh question explain five buttons available in the debug control window also explain the concept of walking or directory tree okay so the five button will be the run step step into step out and stop okay so let's see one by one run is the two continues running the program until the next breakpoint or until it finishes and step is to execute the current line of code and then pause again allowing you to step throughout the code line by line okay so step into is execute the current line if the line contains a function call it enters the function so you can debug inside it okay so it's very simple you can understand as you read these lines so next one is step out step out is run the remaining lines of the current function and pause once it returns to the calling code okay so the last one is stop that terminates the debugging session and stop the program execution immediately okay so let's move to the next concept of walking a directory tree walking a directory tree refers to the process of traversing a directory structure that is moving into the directory structure one by one and its sub directories to access all the files and folder contained within okay so it is used for tasks like search for files copying file analyzing directory contents etc and how to implement in python we can implement by using os.walk os.walk actually generates a sequence of tuples each containing the current directory path a list of sub directories a list of files in the current directory okay so this it will contain the os walk module see the example import os for directory part directory name file names in os walk this is the path print current directory directory path print sub directories directory names print files file name and this will be the printed okay so explanation the code walks through the current directory tree starting at path to start each level it prints the current directory path the list of sub directories and the list of the files this enables systematic access to all files and directory within the specified path and the significance what the significance that it has automate file management task so i hope this module is also clear to you all okay so only mm, seventh question seven question is there in this module so this is all the question which has been asked in previous year so this you can refer for your preparation okay so i hope you are doing well in your examination so all the best for your exam and let's see you in the next module bye